after watching countless social videos featuring street food vendors, presumably Indians and Pakistanis, with always crowded kiosks, shamelessly with methods of preparation on site even if not exactly inviting at least by Western standards. I have noticed that any improbable mixture of foodstuffs, strictly kept at room temperature, not below 30 degrees, seeing the dripping armpits framed by cremation ash tank tops dissolved in the Ganges, within reach. At best, of dogs, cats, monkeys and flies, smoked by truck exhausts. Perfectly decorated for the Rio de Janeiro carnival, mixed in cans of waste oil. Made incandescent by the flames of recycled tires the old-fashioned way, it became magically inviting after the inevitable addition of a shovelful of a presumed mix of spices. I thought this was the secret to making any food tasty. Therefore, having stocked up on the most improbable spices, rigorously of an economic range, imported from Asian countries, selecting them to be sure of obtaining the closest possible mix of spices. After observing those chosen from the supermarket shelves by immigrants of clear Indian and Pakistani origins, I began to pour them indiscriminately into all my culinary preparations, but in addition to obtaining the joy of the taste buds. There was a tragic unforeseen consequence that forced me to buy a dishwasher. In the past, to wash glasses, cutlery, plates, pots, etc., it was enough for me to leave them on the windowsill and wait for the inevitable nocturnal humidity to. Guaranteed by the Lichon Dam, here in Molise in southeast Italy, the slow, but industrious, snails that in order to refresh themselves scraped off food residues with their tongue covered with hundreds of microscopic teeth. Like a sheet of excellent 1000 grit sandpaper, and they polish the dishes with their detergent and rinse aid mucus. But with the first residues of food flavored with a mix of Taraco spices, I found the crockery still mostly dirty and with dozens of dying snails. So, to alleviate their suffering and to thank them for their dedication so far, I couldn't help but make a delicious Molise style snail soup, and start looking for a dishwasher capable of replacing their impeccable service. The choice fell on the cheapest and most performing Class D dishwasher. Produced by Becca, a well-known Turkish home appliance brand, and internationally recognized for its reliability, quality and affordability, with a value for money that is practically unattainable in most international markets, thanks also to the fact that from 2018 to today, the Turkish lira has lost about 50% of its value against the US dollar and about 40% of its value against the euro. Turkey has kept interest rates low to stimulate economic growth, but this led to an increase in inflation and the devaluation of the Turkish lira. In 2021, Turkish exports rose to an all-time high with an increase of 32.9%, reaching a record $225 billion. We Italians are well aware of the effects given that in the 90s the Italian lira also suffered a strong devaluation. But now that we're in the Eurozone, it's better for us to take advantage of other people's devaluations, provided that the goods are of proven quality. Naturally, transport, installation and disposal are directly valued in euros. Being in this case carried out in Italy, and having not found anyone willing to do the work in exchange for a bag of Turkish lira, with a simple trolley. Some tools and a little free time I proceeded with some DIY, always at no cost regardless of the currency used. As indicated in the manual, immerse the supplied water hardness test strip for a few seconds in a glass of tap water. After about a minute the number of boxes of the five on the strip will change color. We'll determine the setting to be set on the adjustment screw on the left side of the tub and in the dedicated item in the control panel settings menu. Acting delicately with a screwdriver, position the gap on the screw head in line with the number corresponding to the number of boxes that have changed color, in my case 1. To access the settings menu, hold down the power button and the 70 degrees cycle button simultaneously for 3 seconds. To select the water hardness item, press the 70 degrees cycle button several times until the letter R, followed by a number appears. To set the hardness, press the 50 degrees cycle key several times until the number corresponding to the number of squares that have changed color appears, in my case 1. To memorize the changes, press and hold the power button for 3 seconds. 
Before the definitive installation, I make a temporary one to verify its correct functioning and the actual consumption of electricity and water. Through a smart socket with consumption detection and a tank to measure the total waste water. After having connected the water inlet, the electricity and inserted the drain hose into the tank, I prepare the dishwasher for the first startup. Since it is being switched on for the first time, I also pour a liter of water into the salt container as well as a kilogram of dishwasher salt. Pour the rinse aid into the dedicated container. I put the dishwasher tablet in the dispenser. All used products are W5 brand sold by Lidl. The dishwasher model in question is a Beko model B300 code BDFN 26430X. With the following main features. Free installation. Steam sanitization function. Door in stainless steel. Automatic opening of the door at the end of the cycle. Programmable timer up to 24 hours. Half load function. Extra shine function. 14 seats. Acoustic emission of 47 decibels in class C. Water consumption per cycle of 11.5 liters. Energy consumption per cycle of 0.85 kWh in energy efficiency class D. I pile into the dishwasher, some of the plates, glasses, pots, spoons, forks, knives, bowls, cups and mugs that I accumulated from waiting about a week for shipment. Encrusted and moldy, perfect for testing the effectiveness of the dishwasher. The quality control officer does a quick inspection and gives the OK. I start the eco-wash cycle at 50 degrees lasting about 3 hours. From the noise that begins to be heard I would say that the dishwasher is working and the said wash cycle has started. To further optimize consumption, the door opens automatically during the drying phase. At the end of the cycle, the smart socket management application results in a total electricity consumption of 0.77 kWh, therefore in line with what was declared by the manufacturer. All the waste water from the cycle, including the Turkish residual water from the test. Considering the weight of about 1.2 kilograms of the bin, amounts to a consumption of 11.5 kilograms equivalent to about 11.5 liters. Not considering the residues and the dissolved detergent, therefore in line with what was stated. If you want, if you have used an ecological biodegradable detergent, you can reuse the waste water for other purposes, such as for irrigation. I empty the dishwasher and check the degree of cleanliness achieved by the various dishes, which in general looks good to me, except some cutlery and pan which were heavily encrusting. But everyone can get their own idea from the detailed images of the video.
certainly with the energy saving ecological cycle with just over 10 liters of water. And less than a kilowatt hour it is possible to wash an unimaginable quantity of dishes to wash by hand. In reasonable times and with low consumption, given the average 10 liters per minute supplied by the water mains and any costs to heat such a flow of water with electricity or gas. first break for dishwashers occurs on average after about five years. So to find out if I have made an excellent purchase I will have to be patient, perhaps wasting time by reading the dishwasher manual with the most translations attached in the world. Perhaps Becco wants to undermine the primacy of the most translated book held by the Bible. Thanks for watching the video so far, I hope I've been helpful and pleasantly entertained. If you haven't already, share, comment, like, check out our other videos, offer a super thank you. Subscribe to the channel to not miss the next videos. Thanks for the support, bye bye.